We will continue our exploration of the nephron with a discussion of the vitre processing. We will then focus on how tubules, capillaries, and surrounding tissue function together. The porous capillaries and specialized tissue of a bubble capsule are permeable to water and a small solute. Okay, here is a bubble capsule of a yellow color, permeable to water and small solute. But not blood cell or large molecules such as plasma protein. Thus, the filtrate produced in the capsule contains salts, glucose, amino acids, vitamins, nutritious waste, and other small solutes. Okay, in this session, okay, we will follow filtrate along its pathway in the nephrons and collective duct. Okay, the first is process occur in proximal tubule. Reabsorption in the proximal tubule is critical for the recapture of ions, water and valuable nutrients from the huge volume of initial filtrate such as sodium chloride. Sodium chloride in the filtrate enter the cell of the transport epithelium by facilitated diffusion and also co-transport mechanism. As salt moves from the filtrate to the initial fluids, water followed by osmosis. The salt and water then diffuse from the interstitial fluids into the peritubular capillaries. Okay, peritubular capillaries is a blood vessel here. Glucose, amino acid, potassium ion, and other essential substances are also actively or passively transported from the filtrate to the interstitial fluids and then into the peritubular capillaries. Processing of the filtrate in a proximal tubule helps maintain a relatively constant pH in body fluids. Cells of the transport epithelium secrete hydrogen ion into the lumens of tubule but also synthesize a secret of ammonia. Which act as a buffer to trap hydrogen ion in the form of ammonia ion NH4. The more acidic the filtry is, the more ammonia in the cell produced and secreted. The mammal's urine usually contain more ammonia from this source. The proximal tubule also reabsorb about 90% of bicarbonate ion from the filtrate and contributing the further to the pH balance is the body fluids. As the filtrate passes through the proximal tubule, materials to be excreted become concentrated. Many ways leave the body fluids during the non-selective filtration process and remain in the filtrate while water and salt are reabsorbed. What happens in descending lanes of subtly? Reabsorption of water continues as a filtrate moves into the descending lane loops of heli. Here, numerous water channels form above aqua pori. In, in contrast, there are almost no channels for salt and other small solute, resulting in very low permeable for this substance. For water to move out from the tubule by osmosis, the interstitial fluid bathing the tubule must be hyperosmotic to the filtrate.
Next, we focus on what happened in the study properly. The filtrate reach the tips of the loops and then return to the cortex in ascending leaves. Unlike the descending leaves, the ascending leaf has a transport epithelium that lack water channels. Consequently, the epithelial membrane that face the filtrate in ascending leaf is permeable to water. The ascending leaf has two specialized regions, the thin segment uh, and also the thick segment. The filtrate is sent in the thin segment, sodium chloride, which become concentrated in the descending leaf, diffused out of the permeable tubules into the interstitial fluids. The movement of sodium chloride out of the tubules help to maintain the osmolarity of the interstitial fluids in the medulla. In the thick segment of the ascending limb, the movement of sodium chloride out of the filtrate continues. Here, however, the epithelium actively transports sodium chloride into the interstitial fluids. Actively. As the result of losing salt but not for water, the filtrate becomes progressively more dilute as it moves up to the cortex in the ascending leaves of the loops. Next, what happened in the distal tubule? The distal tubule play a role in regulating of potassium and sodium chloride. This regulation involves variation in the amounts of potassium secreted into the filtrate as well as the amounts of sodium chloride reabsorbed from the filtrate. Like a proximal tubule, the distal tubule contributes the pH regulation by the control secretion of hydrogen ion and reabsorb the bicarbonate ion. <laughs> We discuss on what happened in collective duct. The collective duct carry the filtrate through the medulla to the renal pelvis. Final process of the filtrate by the transport epithelium to the collective duct from the urine. Under the normal condition, approximately 1,600 liters of blood flow through a pair of human kidney each day. As a filtrate pass will transport epithelium to collective duct, hormone control the permeable and transport determines the extent to which the urine becomes concentrated. When the kidney are conserving water, aquaporin channel in collective duct allow water molecule to cross the epithelium. We discuss the function of ADH at the next section.